That's how teaching works today. So what you actually want to have is an interactive learning experience uh, that is as compelling as possible, and you do, not want to act, you do not actually want a teacher in front of a board doing a board bill act. You want, an, you want it to be engaged, real-time feedback. Um, so, that's, and, and then you, 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 there are a few other principles in, in, in teaching. Um, you, you have to establish relevance, uh, otherwise your mind will, will want to forget things. So our, 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 our mind is constantly trying to forget as much as possible. So you'll only remember things and establish re relevance or there's a strong emotional element to it. Um, otherwise you're gonna, basically going to forget, uh, forget everything. Um, Memory is, is very expensive from an evolutionary standpoint, so it's trying to forget as much as possible. So, so when teaching a course, you, you have to explain to kids why it's important. Um, and then you want to teach to the, to the problem instead of teaching the tools. So what I mean by that is, if you said, um, here's a car engine, we're, we're, we're going to try to understand how, to, how this car engine works. We're going to take it apart, um, so what do we need to do to take it apart? Well, we need a wrench, we need some screwdrivers, we need a hoist and a pulley, um, and uh, we're going to take it apart and we're going to see how it all works. Um, that's engaging. And along the way, you learn about wrenches and screwdrivers and you know, all, all the tools that are needed. That's, that actually is engaging and compelling. But the way teaching more typically works is we're going to teach you a course on screwdrivers and a course on wrenches. And you're like, why do I have a course on wrenches? Say a course on calculus without explaining what calculus, calculus is used for. Then you, you sort of forget it. <laughs>